Yo, what's up guys? Welcome back to another YouTube video. Um, I'm currently in LA, but I don't know where the, the intro went for this video. I don't think I can say the F word in the beginning of the videos and monetize it. So hopefully I make my money back on this video because groceries are expensive, but I'll take you guys through a full day of eating on prep and training. And then also like what I do for recovery. And then just a bunch of like bullshitting around with the homies. Um, if you guys haven't already, like, comment, subscribe, follow your boy on Instagram. Uh, this prep is eight weeks out as of the time of this filming. So about eight weeks uh, till my show. I appreciate all the support you guys have been showing and like reassuring like comments, like actually believing me that I'm gonna go through with it this time. Um, and we're almost at that 70K mark uh, for subs, which like I always say, the number does not matter, but it's just cool to see like my, my hard work's being rewarded with like growth and like positive, positive things. So I love you guys and I appreciate the support. We're on that road to 100K, and um, I hope you guys enjoy the video. All right, physique update time. I found better lighting. Leaner. My hair looks insane, bro. I look like a fucking, look like I have a dick tip for a head. We got breakfast, I just cooked it up, so I'll show you guys what I'm eating. Uh, Kyle made a little bit of a change to my meal plan, so hopefully it doesn't change again, because your boy's gonna start to get hungry soon. All right, so for breakfast, that's what we're cooking up. It's a little bit, you got a little bit close. I have nine whole eggs, so it's uh, seven egg whites, two whole eggs, 50 grams, 50 grams of cream of rice. I'm gonna move you guys up. All right, so I have inside my cream of rice, I like to add some sort of syrup. This is Maple Grove sugar-free, five calories for two tablespoons. Don't show Kyle that, but we'll just say it's around 10 calories. Then I use this mild hot sauce from Taco Bell. I'm at the point now where like food doesn't taste. There's nothing good about eating. You just want to eat, especially after the protein powder is removed from the cream of rice. Now it became pretty miserable. I have all of my health supplements that I take in the morning, Fish oil, turmeric, NAC, uh, magnesium. Have astralgolus list Or what's the thing that they used to put the fucking um, sarcophagus? The Egyptians, bro. Sarcophagus. And then liver plus. My liver needed a little bit of cleansing. Show the. Uh, I can't show the main script thing, uh, but it's testafensine, which is an aggressive hunger killer and DHEA um, and Dihexa. So these are focus agents from Transcend. I take these every single morning and they have definitely helped me be more productive. And then Tessafensine is a very good hunger suppressant, appetite killer. So hopefully I will not be hungry after this meal. I'll uh, catch you guys at meal two and I'll kind of give you a rundown on Kyle's new plan. All right, now we're back with a low calorie recipe. I'm gonna teach you guys how to make. So, Preferably in the Naka one. One of your coffees, there's Stoke, and there's Califia Farm. Keep in mind, this is a very low calorie recipe. Change the weight to pounds, so you get ounces. Four ounces of cashew milk. Here's the low calorie recipe. That's not for free. What are you cooking up? You gonna tell them how you made it? Yeah. All right, not right now, sit down first. Scooch in, Mo. This is what we're rocking with for lunch. It's pretty fucking depressing. 100, 115 grams. <laughs> you gotta rip that bag while I'm trying to talk, bro. I'm trying to do it slow and quiet. It was like, you know when you're trying to like move stuff in the night? Like putting it at night, not wake up your mom? Oh. The bitch was like, that's what yeah. I feel. All right, we have 110 grams of chicken breast, 70 grams of avocado, and 110 grams of asparagus. Uh, I don't know if I said those numbers correctly, but 170 gram, 165 grams of chicken, 110 grams of asparagus, 70 grams of avocado, along with one of these Matador digestive aid things. To diet root beer, but I want to show you guys some of my favorite sauces. I use this G Hughes. G Hughes is a guy. Yeah, G Hughes is a great guy. This is Miss MRS. Mrs. Doubtfire. 
No, Miss, Miss, is it Mrs. It's or Mrs.? Mrs.? That's Mrs., bro. Oh, Mrs. Renfro's. There's a picture of that ugly ass fat bitch on the back. She kind of cute. Not nah, even, she's fat and old. Not even fat. But it's peach salsa. Lowry's or Lowry's. I like them when they're on their There's two of these, uh, the teriyaki one and the lemon herb with garlic. That's about it. So this is my disgusting ass meal. Mo, what are you having? What are you having? Well, basically done now. It's 140 grams of strawberries frozen and uh, 70 grams of blueberries frozen because they got hella calories low key. And then half a scoop of rice protein and water because you save calories, not using milk. And it tastes the same. Now just say half a scoop of protein so I can cut out the rise part. Why are you promoting brands? Half a scoop of protein. <laughs> to eat my meal three, I'm kind of gross by the fact that it just sludges around like that. Ew. It's 50 grams cream of rice, or 60 grams cream of rice, 20 grams of honey, 20 grams of a nut butter, 60 grams, or 62 grams, 50 grams of protein from the new Anaka Caramel to uh, caramel Toffee Macchiato, bro. It's so hard for me to read, but we had that. There's none left, but I used it all. Just sprinkle a little on top. We're about to go hit back at Alpha Land. We're at the Anaka HQ. We have a little marketing and design meeting and then a supplements meeting. And we're watching a little bit of Joe Everybody Rogan gets high and flagrant. Yeah, some commissions are wild. Yeah. Like, so, like Michael Bisping got passed. Joe Rogan's probably my favorite human being to ever walk the face of the planet. Yeah. After Theo Vaughn. If I could smoke weed with two people, Theo Vaughn and Joe Rogan. And then probably Elon Musk, just to say I did it. We're at Anaka. Actually, no, we're at Alpha Land. About to go work out. Got some fermented glutamine, some EAAs. Mixing it up, that's what we're gonna drink in between our workout. Ah. I got old man knees. All right, this may or may not be a heart attack of a pre-workout stack, but we have the Jack Italian pre and pump. I'm not allowed to show you guys the uh, actual label yet just because I wanna make a big, big thing of it and have like a really cool Instagram post for it and have like a really cool YouTube video for it. So I don't wanna like, drop that out there yet, but just know it's fucking coming. The clothes are almost done. I should be having samples sent the end of this week to the warehouse and we'll be chilling. So the Jack the Giant 2.0 drop is on the way. That is more powder than Pablo even used. <laughs> You're fucking on some shit. The carbonation probably didn't help, bro. Mm -hmm. <sighs> bro. You sound like a fucking frog. Bro. It was disgusting. No, it started to bubble in my throat. Yeah, that's what it did to me. That's why bitches don't swallow anymore. <laughs> <laughs> Bubbles in their throat? Oh, Your jizz is like champagne? Uh, that's, why they call, that's why they call him Champagne Poppy. Why is champagne the first bubbly drink you thought of? Bro, Andrew Tate getting his appeal ban is fucked. They literally have no evidence and this dude's just locked up. He's been locked up since past Christmas. He didn't get to come to my family Christmas reunion party. Bald anymore, bro. They don't even let that dude be shaving his head. They literally don't even let Andrew shave his head to look professional and do the hand thing. Rumor has it, bro, he's handcuffed to his side so he can't, he can't channel the inner powers of the Andrew Tate. Power Ranger? For my people who like to live life a little bit more on the edge. Is that Blue Chew? See Alice? Speaking of edge. It is not Blue Chew. It is very similar to blue chew, so. If you guys are having a hard time getting a boner. You're having a hard time If your boners. girlfriend wants to leave you because you can't get or stay hard, I'm here with a solution. Transcend HRT, link at the top of the description, code Italian as a reference, now offers dissolvable Tadalafil, commonly known as Cialis. Commonly known as, go to your local 7-Eleven and say, my dick doesn't work, and have them hand you a mysterious rhino pill. But this has all of that without the side effects. You take it, you let it dissolve under your tongue, and 25 to 30 minutes later, you'll be the stiffest you've ever been in your entire life. Or you'll be in the gym getting the best pump of your entire life. So you guys want to see Alice. I'm not recommending this what for if, anybody. What if I'm hard for over four hours? If you're hard for over four, if you're hard That's for just over four hours, time. congratulations. <laughs> Bro, I always love those commercials. Like the fucking boner commercials with like Cialis and they're like, or Viagra, and they're like, if you take in Viagra 
and you have a boner or you have an erection lasting longer than four hours, I'm always like, congrats, bro, you're fucking bro, killing you're it. What? Bro, imagine, so I have, I go to the same doctor I've been going to since I was like, born, dead ass born. Dr. Learner. Shout out. He's the GOAT. Shout out Emmanuel. <laughs> yeah, bro. Link in the top of the description to my pedi pediatrics pediatrician. But I've been going to this guy ever since I was like three, and he's a child. I thought you were, you were, you were born. So I, I went to go see him when I was back home, and he's like, Marco, like, you're 23. Like, what? Are you, why are you still coming to me? I'm like, because I don't trust anyone else, <laughs> Dr. Learner. I don't know what this has to do with the conversation. Nah, he's a GOAT. He, he no, got imagine having to call that. Oh, doctor. yeah, bro. Imagine having to call him, like, yo, Dr. Learner, bro. <laughs> I'm hard as fuck. I can't go to sleep. <laughs> He's like, what do you want me to do? He's like, what the fuck do you want me to do about it? I'm like, well, dude, you're gonna have to help me get rid of this boner. Like, transcend for the Cialis. My personal pre-workout, Anaka Pre and Anaka Pump for the Jack Italian. And Emmanuel for help. And if you guys have a boner lasting more than four hours, congratulations. Actually, I kind of want to have a boner for four hours just to know what it feels yeah, like. Yeah, 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 but to but know if it's actually a flex or not. But here's the thing, it's cool when you're home. I just have to like, you're like, shit, I got a meeting, and you just fucking bricked. <laughs> you just sat. Bro, imagine you're in court, and like, they're like, they're, someone wants, bro. In court for sexual assault, and you have a boner. <laughs> if I worked in jail, I would fuck with people. Like, so, if I was in, if, let's say I worked in jail, and I knew this person had a court date, but they were a pedophile, I would like slip like Hella Cialis in their morning pills, like, they may be on depression medication. Bro, Viagra is depression medication. I don't care what you say. If you take a Viagra or you take depression meds, <laughs> either way you're gonna feel better. So I would literally just sprinkle in a little bit of Cialis or Viagra into the pedophiles like morning pills. So they're just rock fucking hard while they're like, uh, we have complaints that you have uh, had sexual contact with many minors. And the guy's like, no, no, I promise. He's just fucking rock hard. They're like 20 years. So what I'm hearing from this is, if you heard the I'm, first I'm, statement, I, I'm the people for the people. Please use his code so that Marco never has to get a real job. <laughs> hey man, that's like supporting the community. I'm keeping pedophiles off the street one no, Cialis you're pill at a time. keeping pedophiles hard. Yeah. <laughs> I'm just turning like the mind. Like I go from like, I'm trying to help by like coming up with new solutions, but I'm really just <laughs> creating <laughs> pedophiles. <laughs> We're gonna go work out. No bitches only do text, yeah. You know, I live my best, yeah. I got too many Lamborghinis up in my driveway, but I don't even drive. I'm driving the bulletproof truck. I know these niggas, they want to see me stuck. I ain't all the work through the mud. I just got crippled, my seats, they be blood. Yeah. Uh, I'm going up, yeah. Uh, she off the drug. Yeah. Uh, I'm going up, yeah. Uh, she off the drug. I'm taking my time every time that I got to use my mind. Yeah, got a plan to my zero. Yeah, make you go blind. Yeah, what a I don't even wear it. Just to tell the time yeah. I run through the lobby, I'm geeked out my body when I'm off the X yeah. Every time I pop me a blue pill, you know I just be calling my ex yeah. Okay, I am just lying, I do not call no bitches, only do texts yeah. You know I live my best, yeah. I got too many Lamborghinis up in my driveway But I don't even drive, I'm driving the bulletproof truck I know these niggas, they want to see me stuck I ain't all the work through the mud I got crippled, my seats, they be blood yeah. uh, I'm going up, yeah. Okay, so if you guys ever come to Alpha Land, 100% recommend getting a little session done. I'm gonna work on my back today because we're about to go to LA tomorrow. Uh, I'm on prep, obviously. You guys know if you're watching, I'm on prep. Um, and I gotta make sure that my mobility is good, but my recovery is good. So I come around, honestly, twice a week, but like minimum once a week and try to get at least a little bit of body work done. So we're gonna get started and we'll roll a little montage clip. Yeah. I do, they're at Alpha Land. Um, I am in the very back of gym too, between the mobility room and the bathrooms. Yeah. Okay, so the idea behind cupping is that like, the darker the cups, the more damaged the area, and the more blood it pulls to that muscle to promote healing. See, this one's super yeah. dark, and that's one of the areas that he said is super tight. Like, he's not having a lot of low back pain, and these cups aren't very dark. He's having a lot of mid back pain, and those cups are dark. Does it make any of them pop off? I feel like a sketchy French yoga instructor. No, you gotta be that one, you know the one. Accent. I feel like my name would be Pierre, and I'm like, je m'appelle Pierre. 
<laughs> wee wee, Susmon beat. Is that the one where like your dick comes out? Susmon beat means suck my dick in French. Ah. More you know. The more you know. Yeah, uh, where's the Instagram? Je m'appelle Pierre Sussman Beat. So if you go to the club and you're like, my name is Pierre, there suck my dick. Where's the factor cat oh. is on TikTok? Dude, it's so out there. All right, guys. So I'm back from the gym. I did my 30 minutes of cardio. Kyle has me doing 30 minutes of cardio six days a week. You guys, I'm going to put pictures of everything on the screen as well. 165 grams of lean protein, so that can be chicken, it can be white fish. 180 grams of jasmine rice. Oh, I thought I got asparagus at this meal and I don't. <sighs> Bro, asparagus low-key be hitting. So I just put my pineapple on the scale and I kind of just snack off 195 grams. Or how many grams? I can't close that shit. I'm gonna lose my mind, bro. I'm definitely getting the lower calorie roid rage. Um, just from being fucking stressed out. Not pretty pissed off today at the gym. So just something you kind of got to deal with while you're dieting. It's just understanding that like, for example, I can't take all my anger out on my brother. Not that I have, I have not, just so you guys know. Flip the camera and tell them I did not take my anger out on you. Not 100% of it. No, bro, don't lie. <laughs> Flip the camera back around and tell them I didn't yell at you. He did not yell at me. That didn't fucking sound genuine. <laughs> I mean, you're holding a knife. Damn, I get a lot of chicken right now, fuck. 165 grams, I thought that shit was be less than this. And to wash that shit all down, we have the an A&W, best diet soda in the world. I fucking split my middle finger fingernail in half at the gym today. Just gotta get a manicure. No, bro, manicures are for fucking pussies. My brother gets manicures with my mom. No, I go by myself. <laughs> Turn the fucking camera off, I'm gonna beat the shit out of you. All right, never in my life did I think I'd be missing asparagus from a meal, but Kyle pulled my asparagus from this meal and I'm fucking craving it. It does make your piss stink, like. <clears throat> the pineapple combats that. Pineapple, yeah, pineapple combats the asparagus piss. It is 20 calories a tablespoon for 14 grams. Bourbon chicken sauce? Yeah, it's the bourbon chicken sauce from Oriental Wok. I'm hyped to go out to LA and uh, do some collabs out there. Thursday, I'll be getting to LA on Wednesday. So comment shit you guys want to see me do in LA or people you guys want me to collab with while I'm out there. And I can reach out to them and see if they're down to link up that Thursday or Friday. No, but you shoved him away. All right, guys, today we're in Target and I'm going to be making out with my brother in front of strangers to see how many people can become uncomfortable. Um, Definitely here consensually. Ah. Uh. Ah. Uh. <laughs> But no, um, I'm gonna be trying the Sunkist. I'm gonna try my best to go through like a list of diet sodas and like kind of try them a little bit. So you guys have like a tier list to follow. Maybe give some recommendations. So I've never tried Sunkist Orange before. We're gonna go home and play Slavery FIFA. So if you guys don't know what Slavery FIFA is, uh, KSI yeah. and Comedy Shorts Gamer came up with that shit. So I'm not a racist for saying it. It's called Slavery FIFA by two black dudes, okay? So don't fucking, oh no Marco, you're a racist. Like, it's just an excuse for me to beat the shit out of my brother. So pretty much, we're gonna do an example. We're playing, right, play FIFA. I score. No, I score. Bro. I score, right, we're gonna play long range. So if I score two, it's worth even more. But So I score, you know, ball goes in, and then you know what happens to him? He turns around, it's just <laughs> smack, or belt, belt to his ass, something. So hopefully it's like 10, 10 0 me, and I just get to brutally abuse my brother. Well, I'm gonna look for some more sodas and I'll catch you guys in a minute. Sprite Zero. No. Wait, let me let me see your tattoo. Your awesome. Which tattoo? Pop the titty. Yeah, right here. Oh yeah, yeah. yeah, what's that say? Kiera. Kiera. Yeah. <laughs> pop a titty, pop a titty. Get, get Let's off, go. Get off my back, there's not enough weight. Let's go. In my back. It's my leg. Yeah. Oh, you wanna see my you wanna see my titties? Yeah. Like I, I got the teats. You want to milk me? <laughs> no. You two have a great night. I'll have dreams about you. No, I won't. <laughs> I like that laugh. <laughs> I like that laugh. Stop cutting me off. I'm gonna hit you. you Get out of here. Get you cripple, you little vegetable, Stephen Hawking looking ass. Hey. You hear the short ass talking to me like that on a good day? You're fucking. Right now you're fucking short. They should hit me. If they hit me, I get banged. I'm not gonna lie. I debated it. Y'all know. I was gonna take it. Y'all know what I'm finna say. 
There was a mother driving that car. Let me give me a titty spread. This is my dinner. Ignore the wooden spoon. My, the beatings I used to receive with this wooden spoon. Not this exact, not this exact one, but if you guys, bro, this is the sacred device of torture in Italian culture. The one that we have is actually framed. The one I had, bro, the wooden spoon. I can't tell you how many times these things broke on my ass. I would come home from school. My mom would be like, what'd you get on your test? And I'd be like, oh, mom, like. 13. I was gonna burp, but I didn't. No. <laughs> so my mom, my mom would like, I no, she never hit me for getting bad grades because I got bad grades all the time. It wouldn't change anything. Stop fucking burping. Don't you burp on my fucking camera. But my mom dead ass would wind up and just on my fucking ass until this thing broke. Ass. My mom kicked me in the face with a high heel for punching my brother in the face with keys in my hands. Is that flexible? Bro, no. So this is what happened. So I would never lay a hand on my mother. Other women, if they ask. But so my mom goes to fucking overhand hit me. I catch her arm. My mom goes, other hit me with the other arm. I catch her arm. I'm like, mom, please. Mom, please don't hit me. This woman winds up and just, <laughs> da, da, just straight and just drops me and then foot to the head, ninja kick, Joe Rogan, bah, right? And then my dad came home and just ninja chopped the two sides of my neck. I couldn't breathe, but I was abused as a child. Starting with the wooden spoon. That wasn't the only torture method, but my parents use that a lot. But this is my dinner. 165 grams of lean ground beef, 180 grams of jasmine rice. Oh, actually no, 90 grams of jasmine rice. Jasmine's a good girl. Because Kyle cut that today. I love you guys, catch you tomorrow.